So let's uh, try out that new constant, Faraday's constant, uh, in this example. All right, so gold can be plated out of a solution control, uh, containing gold plus three, according to the following half reaction. So gold plus three gains the three electrons, produces gold salt. So what mass of gold in grams is plated by a 25 minute flow of 5.5 amperes of current? Amperes. All right, so let's try this out. <laughs> All right, so this is just a dimensional analysis problem. Talking about Gen Chem 1, man, this is just this is pretty good. Uh, this is basically a Gen Chem 1 problem. Okay, going back to just good old stoichiometry. So as always, uh, when I do dimensional analysis problems, I want to think about what should my units be for my final answer. Grams of AU, grams of gold. Mm -hmm. All right. So what am I going to convert into that uh, grams of gold? Well, it's going to be uh, what mass of gold is plated in 25 minutes. Okay. So how much gold will be plated in 25 minutes? We might have to convert minutes to seconds. Why would we might want to do it? What's an ampere again? A coulomb per second. A coulomb per second. Okay, so let's think about how we're going to do this. So we can go from minutes to seconds. Then we can go from seconds to Coulombs using the amperes. Okay. Now that I know how many Coulombs of charge I need, I can figure out how many moles of electrons I need using that new handy dandy uh, constant. Faraday's constant can give me Coulombs to moles of electrons. And if we remember, Faraday's constant, F equals 96,000. 486 coulombs per mole electron. Now, I want to go from moles electrons to grams of gold. What's going to be my next conversion? Moles electrons to Well, if we look at our reaction, we can see that for every uh, one mole of gold, I need how many moles of electrons? Three. Three. So I'm just going to use the stoichiometry of the half reaction to figure out how much gold I am going to produce by that many <coughs> moles. Actually, it's here. One mole of gold is need, it needs three moles of electrons. So I can go from moles of electrons to moles of gold. That's fun to say. Moles of gold. There's moles of gold up in them hills. Moles of gold. Yeah, moles and moles of gold. And then I can go from moles to grams pretty easily, right? Just using the uh, yeah. molar mass. What's the molar mass you're going to need? The uh, So I would, uh, you could use that one. There's nothing wrong with that uh, periodic table. I would just use the one that uh, is provided to you on your periodic table of the elements that I'll, of course, give you for any future exams, if we have any exams coming up next Tuesday. All right. So let's do this. How many seconds are in a minute? 60? A thousand? No, I meant like 25 times 60,000. Oh, 25 times 60,000? I thought you meant like it feels like every minute is a thousand seconds in this lecture. <laughs> Whereas that is not truthful because this, it feels like an hour of chemistry lecture just feels like two minutes. It just goes by so fast. You're having so much fun. 
It feels like one minute. It feels faster than that. All right, so minutes cancel out. Now I'm going to use my current to uh, convert to Coulomb. So 5.5 .5 Coulombs per second. Seconds cancel out. Ch -ch -ch. And now I'll use my new handy dandy Faraday's constant, 96,486. 96,486 Coulombs and one mole of electrons. What's that? 45, 46, I'll take it. And then we just talked about this. For every one mole of gold, I need three moles of electrons, right? So Coulombs cancel out. Three moles of electrons, one mole of gold. And then I need one more conversion factor. One mole of gold. Where do we find the molar masses? Periodic table, 196.67? 96. 96? 97. Oh. 97. Thank you. That's grams. Equals. So in our calculators, I'm going to take 25 times 60 times 5.5 divided by 96,486 divided by 3 times 196.97. Probably going to have to cut this down to uh, two sig figs because of the current and the time. 25 and 5.5. So 5.6 grams of gold. All right, so that's how you uh, do stoichiometric calculations involving electrolysis. Uh, Faraday's constant comes in pretty handy. I mean, we didn't need it. I mean, we could have went to um, from Coulombs to electrons. We could use one electrons, uh, 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th times Avogadro's number, so we just kind of like com uh, combine those to Faraday's constant. Uh, and then the key part here is looking to the half reaction to find the stoichiometry, how many moles of electrons are needed for each one, because if it's silver, as we just saw in the previous example, it would be one mole of electron per one mole of silver, because silver is plus one ion. If it's copper plus two that you were doing in the lab, it's two electrons, right? All right. And then, uh, of course, you can do a couple other variations of this. Um, say I know I want 10 grams of silver plated onto a spoon. All right. And I'm going to use 10 amps. How long will it take? So you're going to basically go from grams to time. All right. But again, using the same conversion factors. Or you might say, okay, I want to plate 5.6 5 .6 grams of gold in I got to cut it down. 25 minutes. It's too too long. I got things to do with my gold plating business. I might want to do it in 15 minutes. What do I need to increase my current to?